Thank you very much.
That's supposed to be freezing out there. It's hanging in there, but there are times it's like the whole world's moving out there. It is. I've got a pretty decent alternative here. Which is To um, this one, yeah, I'll put it on the back. Put it on the back and fix it. Oh, I'll, I'll stay with this for a moment because it's hopefully it's going to get less breezy by the time we get into the final. Oh. Seven thirty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I look on the radar at the moment, it's showing 16 knots gusting to noisy. I thought the camera thing was all right. That's fun. And if mine goes, yours is gone. Oh, mine's tied down, but you see how the two tied around my lead. I tied around your leg, one of the leads. Try to You get a bit of stuff for it, it's close. Or we can blue tape it. It's stable. I don't know. Just can't check location. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I got it. I don't know if that is that. Much better. Well, I can kick from that one out to the field, yeah. which is getting better with the light now. That's the one doing it. It is true. It's good. This is too much for you to put the cover on it there. And the light's just too much, just right over the top of the grandstand. In that last game, the uh, Java center fielder was holding her glove yeah. to shield her eyes. Always challenges playing in big venues. This one I was just trying to think was designed for the, the games that were played here were September, September 20 or something like that. So it would have been just a smidge later in the year. Some obviously was an issue because we became aware of it in the nationals in January. They were doing the original thing. Okay. I thought I ended up being put here. To the fence. Stand up double.
So that shot's got first and second base, so I'm just opening them up a little bit. Yeah. So we're not going to miss that much detail in the pitching because you can't really get location from that. That's cool. Anyways, we haven't got the grandstand and the scoreboard because at the moment it's just a spectacular picture up there. It's really clear. Really clear and really stable. The game that's out the back right now is coming in 10 versus WA. That's right. So it's the loser of the 2 3 game, which is WA, playing against Calumet 10. That's the last outside game for the day. Then everything's in here for the two grand finals. I think there's another 2 3 on the next. So this is what happened then. It's happened at 1 30. Oh, so that 2 3 was Queensland versus WA for the men in Queensland. So that's why WA is playing the, uh, the rapid charge right now, basically. Oh, okay. Against uh, this common town. So the next game in here, which is scheduled for 5 30, which if these ladies do the right thing and get them all out of here quickly. <laughs> um, the last game in here, the schedule at 5.30 is the men's under-23 national championship grand final between Queensland and New South Wales. The feeling during the week was that's what it would end up being. It's just the interesting thing was that New South Wales went through into the final grand final themselves, uh, directly. Queensland's a big hitting team, so there's been some real blowout type games. But then New South Wales hit quite uh, well this morning against WA, hit one home run that went all the way down to the road. So it could well be a, an open hitting game or it could get really tight. Nature of the grand final beast. We've got the two traditional rivals here. It's only hopefully a bit of a comeback after quite a few years of uh, playing to them on the strengths. You look at that shot there and you sort of think you're seeing double and it's just because the men's tournaments played on the same diamond so they haven't been able to completely remove the pitching circle. It's a really dominant feature of the play. At least that shot's going to be okay now because the sun's won't drop the infield. Burning a DVD for the umpires on this one. And kind of twice. It's gotten to be about an hour into the burn, running it off the external drive, and it's had a little barf and stopped. So, I've dragged the file onto the, uh, onto the desktop and burning it from there. It's just interesting seeing what apps, what programs, Work normally and what programs don't work normally on the latest versions of the yeah. team. Yeah. It's fresh to get. Oh, what's going on? It's pretty space. That's my shit. It's on the computer now. Mm -hmm. Over 100 gigs. Probably mm -hmm. that was crazy. Yeah. It's definitely not going to do anything else, but there's some... You've got a few open, I don't want to shut those down. Um, I think you should get a list for the empires here. I 
figure it's two down. There's runners on one and two. This card camera has an RCA app. It's my other one, doesn't it? The other one actually has a multi. So if that's the case, I had to register that, I could actually use that as the monitor camera to send it to the Try and send the picture around for the line. It's got the standard half moon. Oh, I say like the straight to RCA. Yeah. Whereas my other one's got a it's got a USB out and it's also got this mods out. So we've seen my connectors are actually got one. Because the thing I was looking at is uh somebody's network camera out here. Pretty close to the the camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely should be pretty strong. There might be a consideration over there. Well, there's no question there's a signal that's on the line. Um, I mean, that's a cable going over the 300 meters to get that that camera from Centerfield in here. Um, I'm sending an analog original. No, sorry, it's a digital original. I'm switching it over to analog right here. Um, and then re-switching it here. There's, there's obviously a signal on it. It's interesting from this camera up here. Um, the, um, Field itself by um, I had the fisheye lens on it, and it was certainly making it less sharp. So I've taken the fisheye lens off it, even though it still gives you most of the info. Mm. Or settle down at least. Well, they both come out hitting. It's probably the tougher job for the pitcher with a bit of luck, a bit of control stuff down here. I mean, you'd think that it's relatively it was open, of course, in behind and on plate here, where there's the two staircases coming in. So the wind's going to be funneling in down there and can do anything that comes out here on the, on the field. And it's open up around the top of the stadium here as well, so there's lots of roads that the wind can be getting into the, into the infield. Yeah, we're watching the 
I just do it relatively early on because it's, it's framed. It's three seconds back and two seconds on the two. That was a nice take. She thought she was going to have to jump for it, but it actually was a bit more comfy. It kind of died at the end. So a classic situation in one of the men's games earlier this morning where a right-handed hitter hit a fly ball to right field with a lot of cut spin. The ball would have easily gone five, maybe six meters out of play. And as it's come down, it's gone hard back to the left. The poor outfielder was out there and uh, almost turned on himself to, to get it. You get the impression the Victorian team's been sent out here to swing an anything or swing a lot. Hmm. Yeah, you must have held it there. Mm -hmm. Didn't think of This uh, touch pad on this one, so the touch as well as the next confused how we do it quite a few times. Contrary to popular belief, there's not 385 softballs sitting up on the roof here at the moment. Yeah, they do come down eventually. If not courtesy of John Nielsen getting up there on a cherry picker and wandering across the roof. Asked me for trouble, I don't know if I just wanted to try to open the last one. Thank 
description. Well, I'm tempted to almost do that. All those walls up there. Okay, we're back up. Camera stable out there, but the uh, lens flare is going to happen for another. It's probably in the worst position right now because the sun's right over the top, straight into the lens. That is over the left fielder's head. the one that's really hard to catch because as the ball was heading towards the left field, or the goal, it uh, picked up the golf string <laughs> and coming down and so it would have been easy to go long. That's what happens when people start forcing things. Through the shop in this one. And at one three. Well, it's possible that our DVD just doesn't like this latest because this is the latest one in this one. Because that will stop supporting our DVD some iterations mm -hmm. back. Yeah. If you were sitting where the camera was in center for right now, you would have some serious sunglasses on and you would not be able to see anything anymore. That thing's a lot of fun looking at that. I'll come back in about 10 minutes or whatever.
the hunter stumbled slightly getting off third then, but um, still had plenty of time. It was a deep fly ball. Two down, run around two, one in. hitting Got it all right now. Hard wind out there, plus the sunshine. That's the same thing again. That ball would have gone over the fence normally if it's taken a left hand curve on the way down. It could be the sort of thing that um, could figure in one of the plays later on in the final. For field to just hit that right. It's easy to sort of get up on the ball like that. So we got a chill factor of about minus 23 here at Blacktown at the bottom. Team hitting from the South Wales side here. So she wrote two. The shadows on the base of the tripod now. Getting better. The lights on here are about 40 minutes, and we kick in and uh, 
some of the shots we had last night from all the cameras were just stunning. So we're seeing this is 1-0 Australia really done, finished? I thought it was finished. I think so. There's some results here from the World Championships. Oh. Change up this is outside. Canada 4-3 over China. Mm. Netherlands knocked off New Zealand 8-2. Guatemala knocked off France for our two. This is a genuine world championship. It's a really open field. A lot of, lot of extra countries. Switzerland 5 1 over India. Here's one that's moving a lot in the air. Seven million USA over Venezuela. Czech Republic 14-3 over Peru. I think that's why they call it a World Championship, is that it?
third attempt to burn the disc. Because you roll off to the third attempt, which is just make it a better disc. That's exactly right. Okay. There you go. Put in a lot of difference. A little bit of less lens flare. <laughs> All right, we can see some location stuff now. So it gets through the encoding phase and gets well into the, the, the separate encoding stuff and just freezes. How much you copy and quotes? Uh, they should all be done on my Vs. Yeah, but what's based on it? I just made it one loss, as in you know, this 4.0 gigabytes, this is now 3.7. Probably doing it. 4.7 this. Look at that shot right now. You think there's no wind? In fact, there is very little. <laughs> Someone turned the fan off. Are you ready? We're going to be back. That's some good team hitting for Victoria. Well, I hope no one's been brave enough to say anything about the standard of play the under-23 women's nationals. So what we're seeing right now could easily be a women's national final. So this tournament's got a place. It's mm -hmm. really time. Yeah. Get the scoreboard working up here for the final show. Look at the quality of the show. That's oh, fine. There you go. That's a really classic you know, late afternoon winter shot in Sydney. 
looks like it could be nice and warm, but it sure isn't. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as Canberra, where it's actually warm for about three minutes, about 2.30 in the afternoon. Okay. Let me just drag the slider across the bottom. Okay, so we played. So we're on the bottom of the third here. Bottom of the third going into the middle ahead. It's interesting it resets that once you actually start to kind of get spins to that down. No? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't uh, noticed that before. What version? Uh, it'll be the very sports kind of version. Mm -hmm. This is what 10, 10, 10, 10, 11. Oh, oh it's not. It's one down. Oh, what are we doing? That's a good shot of it. Let's try. Let's try. Yeah. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. It didn't do a thing. Well, the same's come back through again. Oh, this would be a little bit coming through the gap on top. Yeah. Well, it did that to that. Yeah, it did that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of little uh, gaps in the top of the grandstand here. We're getting the last light of the day coming through to affect that shot right there. Come back real clear soon. He's sending her home. In the park. Good, good. In the park, home run. I think we got the, uh, the wheels grinding on that one. Came around second, really pushing it out. Ball was hard down the line, but uh, stayed in fair. Mm. 
No lines far left. We got the picky back. Well, we've had heat, we've had rain, we've had mist, we've had fog the other night at around about 1 o'clock in the morning. There was a game still on. The umpires told me they couldn't even see the center fielder. Just kept on playing. Had everything, I think, this win, so now it's probably snow for the other one. Yeah. It's cold enough. Foul ball down the left field. Seth Ross is making some pretty regular contact now. Men's grand final shortly happens to be a bit of a hitting tournament with the full hitters hit it over the left field fence. It's an interesting shot, isn't it? It's good to try to run around one. I actually put that camera there the other day with the, uh, when I watched the Kelman and Tan guys. Because they're so quick down first. Mm -hmm. Interesting looks going on between the runner on two there and the coach. I'm not quite sure whether they uh, caught each other's eye or not. Coming back on the ground again here, and with a catcher. And then runners on one and two. Double steal, Mr. Gates is in good form.
hard luck there. That took a look at how I'm sitting here. The little short stuff got it on the arm. There's one of those that's fell. No, it's actually a fair ball. Blew back car wise again. Seven one gigs. That's that's the number, isn't it? It's close. Not the two close. Be the bottom of four. Yeah. Some national championships for the men in Adelaide. It was windy. It was a women's size field. A couple of check swings like that, fly balls that went over the fence. Oh, 
top floor. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it in about 10 minutes. When I did the, obviously, that's a nice check. It's a nice presentation. I'm going to put it in the phone in here if I do it. Right I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'd have to import the movies in the iMovie. I'm just going to duplicate some of the drive. And then turn the disc out of there. Hmm. Oh, this is another That's what I'm going to do. Well, that's what I'm starting to wonder. What are some of the uh, old things like toast? Hmm. I'm still working. There's obviously an incompatibility. It'd be interesting to swap over and change it on that machine or try another machine. Or if it's one or else back. Nice here. These grounds were emerald green two weeks ago. We've got a couple of frosts. And uh, they reckon the grass is pretty much done. It's not just the dormancy of the year. It's not totally. a year. Yeah. Ooh, okay. mm, it's a lot pretty, pretty good considering. Yeah, it's, I mean, it always presents well. But look at the difference in the, uh, the grass over the, the fence that we yeah. have back. I mean, even just on that shot there, you can see that we have a graduated color and change here. <laughs> and we're out of the green. Well, the players as a drone, we were flying the drone up here late last night and uh, the photos from above make it look like all the fields are totally skinned. Hmm. So obviously some kind of comment made from the uh, New South Wales bench on that one. I'm not quite sure if it made the umpire shake his head. Taken by the left fielder.
And I don't think we're fully ready to just be putting all the video up on the download site. It just takes too long to get it. I mean, those are just five seconds around each pitch. And for some reason, the games that are on that they drive and try to get your phone and ones to do that. Probably stream every 10 seconds or 8 seconds to mm -hmm. it. And it records it as it's doing it. That was what's happening here, of course, on the, that way you don't have to jump it in one big chunk. Yeah. Well, it may well be that that's the way to go, to just uh, go straight to YouTube or something like that, like we're doing at the moment during the game, rather than try to do all this work stuff. But the thing is, you don't have the control of the do that, you're going to do it information. Okay. That was quick. But I'm not looking around. I think they've been told they've got to go off the diamond at 5 30. Mr. Gates is having an interesting conversation down here. You can just uh, figure that the wheels are turning. So, Coach, what would you put on? I'm not even thinking. He doesn't put anything on, does he? A leadoff runner on first. Things that this guy can do. He's been hitting, I think he'll keep hitting. Job of dancing the run and the bonus didn't get out. Wow. Mr. Gates is in good form. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see him in good form. <laughs> okay. Got us on one and two in the round. Nicely taken by the catcher. A lot of Matt Latit come in this catcher here, I can see. Okay. I believe the crowd agreed with that decision. Lights are on. Days are getting smudged longer, which is good. I think what's a solid as shrine is being given dark at five to five. I think we're up to about 20 past a month. Make up for it for summertime here. You get 20 past nine, somewhere like that in the evening sometimes. Mm. Whoa. Loads of bases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steptoe coming up. Mm -hmm. 
Atlanta step to the Clearly a uh, strong hitter here, so this is an interesting situation. Second one scores as well. Mm. Well, it's probably um, one of the more interesting ways to claim it's had a two hit RBI. With a blooper back to the pitch here. Hitting lineup issue here? I think it's a can issue. Captain, that's what's going on. Thank you. Issues there. It's on the map, huh? It's just can issue. We had different camp before. She was trying to get that one out of the infield. Oh, I didn't have to go for There is what's known as the Sue Fairhurst record here. Sue Fairhurst hit a home run on this ground that covered the second fence. It's up there on the hill, bounced on the road. And that wasn't rocket assisted. It wasn't really win that day. Strong here. Yep. In fact, it's been said that some of the men wouldn't play on the same ground. <laughs> How could they be so uh, trivialized? Yeah. Look at some contact, just need to straighten it out. It's interesting, this disc has taken like seconds to run in code, now it's taking a long time to run it. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to go through. Like the other one did. All right, it's just come up in the data. Just put it in the book.
I think that's five glancing blows. What's this one going to be? Wait a minute. Well, practice something long enough, you get a chance. You know? Good. Good. Round ball, round back. You always wonder in these situations, is the hitter wearing the pitcher out or is the pitcher wearing the hitter out? Hmm? Well, it depends who gives that mental first, doesn't it? Yeah, that's true. It's interesting because you're watching a little battle like this, and all of a sudden the out comes from up to nothing. There's one of them tuned out. That's wrong. Right. The better is a tuned out too. A good picture, but we've got a little bit of movement in the camera out there still, so that wind is still kicking around. There you go. Texas Leaguer. Probably oh, helped by the fact that it would have just been blown away a little bit more from that shortstop as she was going back. Two strikes. That's the first out. Next to my car over right there. Need you for me. <laughs> Long fly ball down the left field foul line. Extra zip in that pitch. It's getting cold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's quicker than two. Well, one minute. Right there.
fly the shortstop. Second out. The American team has been here long, we just have the, whatever bat they've been using sounds um, far more tinny than that. So it's a high frequency team. Both seem to come off a pretty good hit. It's especially because they're pretty good hitters. But, uh, there's something a little new. Mm -hmm. The umpires assured me that the uh, bat checks and everything is hunky dory. I can't forget what the regulation is on the coefficient of restitution, so it's a good rebound speed. So. Hmm. Let's take him there.
This game.